And here's a voicemail that came in from one of our listeners named Mark. I left you all a message a couple of weeks ago, I think it was July 14th, on my son and the Jehovah Witnesses approaching him. And I got to listen to this podcast portion just yesterday with my son while riding in the car on the, uh, you know, the podcast. So I got to pull it up for him to listen, which he hadn't paid any attention to, even though I sent him to him. <laughs> his comeback was, or his question was, and I got a feeling this might be one of the angles that they came at him with, was that when Jesus prayed to God, how could he be praying to himself if he's God? Anyway, I was just hoping if you could kind of help me with that explanation to him, that would be great. But yeah. anyway, it's great listening to you guys. I really do appreciate and love you all show. Hmm. Bye. Yeah, thank you for that, Mark. I'm glad to hear um, that you guys have been having these conversations. And it does sound to me like this is probably something that, Je- that the Jehovah's Witnesses did say. They kind of have a script um, that they go off of oftentimes when they're talking about the deity of Christ or the doctrine of the Trinity. I've spoken to many Jehovah's Witnesses, and that's one thing that they'll bring up is they'll say, well, how can he be God if he's praying to the Father? Uh, Isn't he praying to himself then? And and so there are a couple of issues here. One is just not really understanding the doctrine of the Trinity. We're not saying that the Son is the Father, that they're the same person, um, that the, the Holy Trinity is that there's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that these three are one person. No, we're saying that God is one in essence, power, glory, uh, but that this one God has revealed himself is three distinct persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um, and so the, the Son, Jesus, prays to the Father. I mean, you think of his earthly ministry as well in his humiliation, the incarnation coming to earth, um, praying to the Father, doing his works dependent upon the power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit working in and through him. It doesn't take away from his glory or his deity in any sense. He's He's God. Uh, true God and true man, but he's distinct from the Father. And so we have to be very careful. There was an ancient heresy uh, known as modalism, and it was this idea that God was was just this one person um, who revealed himself throughout history in different ways. You know, from the Father, the, the Son, the Spirit, the, the same person, uh, just these sort of different masks that the one God is wearing. And, and if that was the case, then the objection that these Jehovah's Witnesses are, are raising might be legitimate, but that's not the case, and that's not the doctrine of the Trinity that the Church embraces. In fact, they, they condemn that as heresy, that idea um, that God is just this one person that's wearing these different masks, if you will, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Nope, God is one in essence and undivided, the, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as Scripture teaches, and these are three distinct persons, and so it's no contradiction or issue that Jesus, the Son, praise to the Father. God bless.